Welcome to this worship service for May 17th, the sixth Sunday after Easter here at Zion Lutheran Church, Deer Park, Washington. I just want to say how much I am missing all of you. It's not easy to lead worship with you not in front of me, and I pray it's sooner than later before we can worship together again. This uh, video is our worship video for today. There's also videos for the sermon and the Belfry Bunch, as well as um, if you scroll down, you'll find a video for communion in the home if you are alone or by yourself. If you have a larger household, on today's uh, email, you'll find um, a Holy Communion service, I think many of you have already been using, where someone in the house can lead the communion service. Let us prepare for worship. Um, I should note that throughout the video, uh, either the words for you to say will be on the screen, or I will tell you the words to say. Also in the Sunday morning email, there's a worship document that has all the words for this worship service. Let us prepare for worship with a moment of silence, uh, centering ourselves in Jesus. We continue with confession and forgiveness. Blessed be the Holy Trinity, one God who calls us beloved children, who gathers us into one flock, who guides us all into all truth. Amen. Let us confess our sins, trusting that God will forgive us and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. We take a moment of silence for reflection and self-examination. Faithful and just God, we confess that we are captive to doubt and fear, bound by the ways that lead to death. We have not loved our sisters and brothers as you have first loved us. Forgive us, God of mercy. Let your Holy Spirit work in us to change our lives and make us new, that we may know the abundant life given in Jesus Christ, our risen Lord. Amen. And this is love, not that we have loved God, but that God loved us and sent the Son to atone for our sins. In the name of Jesus Christ, I announce to you that your sins are forgiven. Let the perfect love of God cast out fear, fill you with joy, and inspire you to live for others. Amen. We continue with the greeting. Alleluia! Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia! The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. We continue with the Kyrie. Kyrie eleison. Lord, have mercy. Christe eleison. Christ, have mercy. Kyrie eleison. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray together the prayer of the day. Almighty and ever living God, you hold together all things in heaven and on earth. In your great mercy, receive the prayers of all your children and give to all the world the spirit of your truth and peace through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. We continue with today's readings for this, the sixth Sunday of Easter. Um, today's sermon is drawn from the second reading 
uh, which is 1 Peter chapter 3, 13 to 20. I read that on the sermon uh, video. I will read the other three readings at this time. The first reading is from Acts 17, 22 to 31. Paul stood in front of the Areopagus and said, Athenians, I see how excellent, extremely religious you are in every way. For as I went through the city and looked carefully at the objects of your worship, I found among them an altar with the inscription, To an unknown God. What therefore you worship as unknown, this I proclaim to you, the God who made the world and everything in it. He who is Lord of heaven and earth does not live in shrines made by human hands, nor is he served by human hands, as though he needed anything, since he himself gives to all mortals life and breath and all things. From our ancestor, he made all nations to inhabit the whole earth, and he allotted the times of their existence and the boundaries of the places where they would live, so that they would search for God and perhaps grope for him and find him, though indeed he is not far from each of us. For in him we live and move and have our being, as even some of your own poets have said for we too are his offspring. Since we are God's offspring, we ought not to think that the deity is like gold or silver or stone, an image formed by the art and imagination of mortals. While God has overlooked the times of human ignorance, now he commands all, commands all people everywhere to repent because he has fixed a day on which he will have the world judged in righteousness by a man whom he has appointed. And of this he has given assurance to all by raising him from the dead. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God. We continue with the psalm, which is Psalm 66, verses 8 to 20. We can read the psalm responsibly if you'll respond with the parts in bold. Bless our God, you peoples, let the sound of praise be heard. Our God has kept us among the living and has not allowed our feet to slip. For you, O God, have tested us. You have tried us just as silver is tried. You brought us into the net. You laid heavy burdens upon our backs. You let people ride over our heads. We went through fire and water but you brought us out into a place of refreshment. I will enter your house with burnt offerings. You will pay and will pay you with my vows. Those that I promised with the lips and spoke with my mouth when I was in trouble. I will offer you burnt offerings of fatlings with the smoke of rams. I will give you oxen and goats. Come and listen, all of you who believe, and I will tell you what God has done for me. I called out to God with my mouth and praised the Lord with my tongue. If I have cherished evil in my heart, the Lord would not have heard me. But in truth, God has heard me and has attended to the sound of my prayer. Blessed be God, who has not rejected my prayer, nor withheld unfailing love from me. Today's gospel comes from John 14. It uh, starts right where last week's gospel ended. Jesus is still speaking and teaching to his disciples after the Last Supper. The Holy Gospel according to St. John, the 14th chapter. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the disciples, If you love me, you will keep my commandments. And I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to be with you forever. This is the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it neither sees him nor knows him. You know him because he abides with you, and he will be in you. I will not leave you orphaned. 
I am coming to you. In a little while, the world will no longer see me, but you will see me. Because I live, you also will live. On that day, you will know that I am in my Father, and you in me, and I in you. They who have my commandments and keep them are those who love me, and those who love me will be loved by my Father, and I will love them and reveal myself to them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Let us respond to God's word by confessing our faith with the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. We continue with the prayers of the people. The response today is, hear our prayer. Rejoicing in the risen life of Christ, let us pray for the church, the world, and for all who are in need. Abiding God, you draw the whole church together as one. By your gift of love in Jesus, equip and guide all assemblies of worship, including all the churches of the greater Deer Park area. Bless the homes where your people live and worship you. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Abiding God, your presence can be found in all creation. Continue to revitalize the health of oceans, lakes, springs, glaciers, and other bodies of water that give life to your creatures, including Loon Lake, the Little Spokane, and the Spokane River. Bless all who work the land. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Abiding God, you call all the people of the world your children. Give wisdom to those who govern. Strengthen all who work for peace. Watch over those who protect us, including our military, first responders, and medical personnel. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Abiding God, in your love, you will not leave us orphaned. We pray for your presence upon those who live alone or who do not have a home. We pray for your mercy upon those who suffer abuse or neglect. We pray for your healing upon all those who are in need in body, mind, or spirit, including all affected by COVID-19. Hear us now as we name either aloud or silently those who are on our hearts this day. Your names. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Into your hands, gracious God, we commend all for whom we pray trusting in your mercy through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. We continue with the offering prayer. After that, we'll pray the Lord's Prayer, and when we get to the Lord's Prayer, it'll be the contemporary translation, but first the offering prayer. Blessed are you, O God, ruler of heaven and earth. Day by day you shower us with blessings. As you have raised us to new life in Christ, give us glad and generous hearts, ready to praise you and to respond to those in need. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. 
your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. The Doxology Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Receive the benediction. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen. And the dismissal. Alleluia. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. You are the body of Christ, raised up for the world. Go in peace. Share the good news. Thanks be to God.